Welcome back and to Welcome back and today we have another unboxing experience or yeah it's maybe not the unboxing that is experience the experience is actually from Legato oh, a Stream Deck XL I'm gonna use this one for Final Cut Pro. So you can use all these small fancy buttons to program them to do whatever you would like to do on the computer. And that can be extremely handy for Final Cut Pro where you have all your shortcuts. So yeah, let's hook it up to the computer and see what we can do with that little thing. Hmm, exciting. So, oh, oh. Manual. Ooh. Oh, it smells. It smells electronics. I love that. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Shit. <laughs> that was not planned at all. So here is the uh, thing. So this is small screens and here we have a cord that's manual that's all and that so this is plastic oh it's kind of it's almost magnetic but it's obviously not magnetic because this is not metal but it really sticks good to the surface and this little thing you're gonna put here, I guess. Ooh, yeah, like that. Awesome. So, and here we have our little cord. Ugh. Holy crap. That was twisted. Okay. It's a nice cord. You see, it's breaded. Breaded? breaded? Is it called breaded? Breeded. Lindad. In Lindad. Swedish word of the day, Lindad Kabel. And, and we're gonna connect this one. Uh, where is that hole? Where is it? You could imagine it should be here, but it's not. It's no hole there. Where? Oh, there it is. In that little corner. Like that, like so. And put that here. No? Like, okay. Sit up. Oh, <laughs> it's upside down. It's not supposed to be like that. Why did I do that? Why did I do this little section for the cord when it's upside down? Okay, so the, oh, the cord is gonna go out on the top. That's how they did it. It's gonna flop out here. I thought it should come out in the bottom instead, but it's not. It's coming out at the top. <laughs> and the cord is not supposed to come there at all because there, this little tab is supposed to go. I don't know where the cord is supposed to go. It's maybe just what? The... Okay, it's supposed to be like that. Oh, the cord is only supposed to go out and decide like so. Okay. And let's hook this in somewhere. Uh, let's see, we should maybe download download this app also. Okay, so I've downloaded the app. Here we have the Stream Deck. So let's see what we're gonna do. Probably we're gonna plug this in first. And I'm gonna plug it in into my Cal digit. Maybe that cord should go out the other side instead. No, then it's gonna be twisted like this. So it should maybe go like that. That is the best thing ever with those, with this Cal digit. Hub, you have so many ports and it works just flawlessly and then just one Thunderbolt cable straight into the 
MacBook Pro, look at this. It says welcome. Cool, I love it. And it's the same thing on the computer for crying out loud. I can, it's the same. It's there and it's here. Wow, I love it already. Okay, so let's see. So how do we do this? I'm gonna get back to you in a little while when I have figured this out. Something that I'd really would like to have, that is the trim to playhead left and right. That you usually access by option eight and option nine on my keyboard. I don't know if it's the same on English keyboards because in Sweden we have these little fancy buttons where it says O, E and Ö as well. I would love to have that here, maybe down on the left. So left and right. Drag an action from the right and drop it on an empty key above. Oh, so we have lots of presets here. OBS Studio, Soundboard, Stream Deck, Streamlab OBS, System, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch Studio. So yeah, now I just have to figure out how I can get my shortcuts from Final Cut to end up on the Stream Deck. See you in a little bit when I figure this out. So this is really amazing. I've been playing around with this one for about 10 or 15 minutes now and well, Look at this little guy. It's freaking awesome. What I've done is that here I set my undo, uh, trim to start or trim from the beginning to playhead, trim from end to playhead, and I set my own little fancy icons. And here I have my shortcuts for launching the apps that I'm using frequently. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do. So for example, say that I would like to map on here, I would like to map so I can quickly and lightning speedly access YouTube. Then I go into the Stream Deck app uh, here, and then I take website, I drag website to the spot where I would like to have it. I take my URL, youtube.com, I just paste it in the URL, and I can type YouTube, and there it is. And it shows up here directly. So it's there. And then I can assign a logo there as well. So say for example that I would like to have YouTube logo. And then let's take one here. That one. Download. And then select from file YouTube open. And it's there, look. And I have my little YouTube logo on that button as well. So, if this is closed, I can just click my button and it opens it up. And there it is, it's freaking amazing. And this is the same for when I'm using Final Cut Pro. Take the hotkey, I would like to have that there. What do, what do I would like to, what do I wanna do with that hotkey? Let's say that I would like to have the, uh, the new trim, the new fading feature for, for audio that is on option T. So say that I would like to have option T. So now it's assigned. So next time I just need to uh, mark the two clips I would like to fade between and then I just hit that little button I had created a fade. It's super amazing. I'm happy that I found this little app and or this little program. I'm so excited. So yeah, if you would like to purchase this one, I'm gonna leave a link in the comment box below. And well, if you liked this video and thought this was useful and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more of these kind of videos and see everything else that I'm using. So I, again, I just wanna say that get one of these because this is, this is freaking amazing. The only thing I regret is that I didn't unpack this sooner. I've had it here on my shelf for probably a month to be honest, but I haven't had time to do the unboxing and unpacking and setting up because I've been busy with the studio. But I mean, this is amazing and do not buy anything else than the XL, the biggest version, because you kind of fill these one up sooner than you think. I mean, just with the shortcuts, you maybe have application that you would like to open. So, okay, I would like to open up maybe YouTube. Okay, you click YouTube and there it is. There's YouTube. You, okay, I maybe would like to open up I don't know, I finished a photo.
Okay, I maybe would like to open up um, Final Cut. Okay, so just a little note on that <laughs> awkward situation. Uh, it was nothing wrong with Stream Deck. It was just my computer that apparently were too busy doing something else a lot more important than doing what I told it to do. So just some seconds later, uh, Final Cut is actually opening up and behind Final Cut, a finite photo is open as well. And just a side note, now I've been playing around with the Stream Deck for a little bit longer, one more day, and it's so, so useful. For example, see here, here you can create folders where you can store things like websites. Here I have for Hue, I created a folder where I have different setups. And I mean, you can do so much more than what you maybe think at first glance. So yeah, uh, back to the video. And one more thing, I just wanna mention that this video is not sponsored in any means by Elgato. So I purchased this Dream Deck with my own money, just so you know. Don't get anything smaller. There are different versions of this available, but get the XL because you're gonna fill these up faster than you can believe or imagine. I mean, just to have shortcuts for your programs. Here I have some scenes for my lights, like, okay, push that one. Oh, fakes all my lights and maybe click another one. Oh, and then I can just turn everything off with that one. Oh, dark. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on again. So, yeah, so, okay, the key light is not on yet. But yeah, I mean, get get this one and get the XL and get it sooner than later. And, well, yeah, see you in the next video. See you, bye. <laughs>